Oh, it's in progress. All right. So tell tell the people what you just said to me. Okay. First of all, we were having a conversation and we felt like we should record it because we're just kind of going back and forth on, I guess, what we think on the subject. Yes. Also, what we know and what we looked up. Yeah. But you think? Okay. So you brought up what your fasting. three things, right? Yeah. One of the things was fasting. We're, this was a pre, pre-show. pre We're getting ready for the show. And this was a conversation that heated up. And we're like, stop. We got to record this because it's we see two different sides. And we want your guys' opinion as well. And anyone who else who's uh, knowledgeable on this subject uh, to chime in. But yes. we're talking about fasting. And I think that people need to start fasting more. Especially in this new year. It was one of our things about how to lose weight. Fasting helps a lot. And you said, well, I said that it's not really great for women. And you said, uh, yeah, it's good for women. And I said, well, how do you know that? Because I know because I've looked it up and it's different hormonally for men and women because you guys have a 24 out 24 hour hormone cycle and we have a 30 day cycle. So fasting. So like if you think about it, fasting in like the first part of it, like if you were to just sleep, not eat. Like you're sleeping and not eat at night, not eat right in the morning. Yeah. Like that's fasting like overnight. Right. And then you need to eat breakfast. But like if you fasted um, and didn't eat as much, you cut, cut, cut calories for like maybe just like a week, you know, you really cut significantly. So that's not fasting, fasting, because a lot of men fast and don't eat at all for 24 like, hours. Yeah. And let's even say, longer. Let's say 16 hours, 16 Okay. So, I mean, and some men will do 36 hours. I've seen it like a whole, like just drink water kind of fast. And that would not be great for women. So if we dial it back a 16 hour fast, if we do. And that's where we don't see eye to eye. I... <laughs> so I think that it would be very good for women to do. Okay. So let's just dial it back and say we extended our sleep and breakfast, right? So we woke up and didn't eat for another like four or five hours in the morning and only ate like at lunch. How I see it, what's happening and what most women are dealing with is they're not eating enough. And I know this from working with a lot of like women and clients and stuff. Most women are, are retaining weight because they're, they're almost like starving themselves and not getting as much. So they're they're gaining weight from not eating is basically what she's trying to say. And that is, but, but listen, they're like not getting anywhere even close to the amount of protein they need a day. They're getting like 50 grams of protein a day. How That's do you- the protein. They might need more protein, but look how many. Yeah, they're having 600, 700 grams of carbs. So that's too much carbs, but in but it's significantly not enough food within their day. So what's happening is their body is going into this like. You know what 700 grams of carbs is? What? It's like 2,000. 2000- 800 calories just in the carbs there's but no they're way they're full they think they're full you know i don't think they're again this is the, this is our thing i don't think it's not they're not eating enough it's maybe it's the ratios of what they're eating but fasting i believe would help them lose weight maybe they need to add a little more protein you know into their diet or add more vegetables into their diet but i don't necessarily think they need to add more food but i i know tell, tell me if i'm wrong though look they're definitely not having that much carbs and stuff because like the other day I just had this consult with consult with this woman and we did that uh, what's that thing called in body scan Mm -hmm. we did the in body scan and um I was like so you don't know what in body is checks your body fat checks your uh weight checks your muscle mass yeah stuff like that so it's really great because it's super detailed right but um she was holding on to like a lot of weight that she is not used to having on her body And what happened was I was like, well, you know, we went over everything. She's exercising. This girl is exercising. Like she's, you know, doing cycling. She's lifting weights. She's doing all these things. And I'm like, well, what are you eating? So she told me, and she had like a piece of toast in the morning with one egg, one, one egg has six grams of protein. And actually, I don't think it was a toast. I think it was a bagel. Okay. It was a bagel. So that's more carbs. I get it. A bagel, uh, one egg. And then for lunch, which was many hours later, it was, there was no snack in between. It was like breakfast. Then all the way to lunch, she was having, I don't know, some sort of salad or something very low in calories. And then she would have dinner and she would do no carbs for dinner. So that's why I was telling you, I know it's not a lot of carbs because she was doing no carbs. And I was like, okay, well, you're like cycling and working out a lot. Like you need carbs as energy, right? Protein. You're not getting literally any protein in your day. Like it's so low. So that's why when you were saying, saying fasting, I was trying to tell you that there's no, 
like they're for most women they are not eating enough because she's she was getting like so her calories and her protein and her carbs like everything was so so low and she's holding on to weight so the only explanation I had for her was her body was in fight or flight, right? Your body is under stress. Initially, when you starve yourself and you don't eat, you're going to lose the weight and it's going to happen fast because you're starving yourself. And then your body is going into crap. I cannot survive. I need to hold on to fat to support my body's organs, to support my body's functions. And I'm going to hold on to as much fat as I can so that we can preserve life. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, making sense. I, I've heard I've heard this before. So this is a stress response. It's fight or flight. And your body is fighting to keep your body functioning and alive because you're not feeding it enough. And with women, because of our hormonal cycle being 30 days, it's way different. You guys reset, you know, every day, every day, every, every day. So you could go 24 hours without eating and the next day pound food and like, be good and be fine. Cause your body's like reset and going again for us. It's like totally different, especially in different phases of the month. It could like completely throw off your hormonal, hormonal cycle and then jack up your thyroid because of the stress response to the starvation. That sounds very good. I'm going to look more into this. Cause yeah, it sounds good, but I swear I'm, I'm still not convinced it's, uh, over time, you know, I think that, uh, if you don't eat, if you're always in a calorie deficit, I just know that you're not going to always gain weight. So you, the thing that they're probably not saying is that they're binging at night and eating a whole bag of chips or they're binging on the weekend and drinking four bottles of wine or, you know, those are like the real things that we need to fast from. Uh, not okay. add more. I know what you're trying to say and it's right. <laughs> add more of the right foods, but, you know, golly. But listen, I agree with a calorie deficit. But I don't agree with fasting, especially long term for women, for men. Long term, 16 hours, 16, give it 16. But I also don't think it's different so much for guys and girls. I think simply if I think, like you said, you just munch down in 24 hours. A lot of guys gain weight easy, too. There's a lot of overweight guys. I was going to ask, are you wearing a backpack? Because pe people are probably wondering, why is she bouncing around with that backpack? Is she stressed? Out? I literally... I mean, if any moms watch this, they know this is just the bounce. Yeah. It's how you get your kids to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have known. I would have thought it was a backpack and you got some in there. I was like, what's he doing? Anyway, so for, for guys, I think mainly they have more muscle. So if you see any girl who have, has muscle, she, she eats food too and eats a lot of food and can burn it off. I believe in that sense, the whole eating it and burning it off isn't a guy or girl thing. It's sure it is a little bit because, yeah, you guys do hold on to fat a little easier because of the baby process and stuff like that. The thyroid and the hormonal things I'll learn about. I have nothing. I can't speak on that yet, but I will learn it. I promise. Cause that's something that does come up a lot, um, which I'll go back to, but men just have more muscle on average. So if girls can build more muscle and like you said, maybe they need to add more protein to build that muscle. Sure. Do I think that they need to, you know, even when they fast in that, in that four hours that they eat, they could still have all the good, you know, amount of food, good protein. I think it would actually help them more get all that food in because it's like, all right, I'm focused now. I'm eating. I'm not just like unconsciously eating, which is yeah. another thing when they tell you or me, which is for those of you who've told me and lied to me, I'm just, yeah, I wake up and I eat eggs and oatmeal. Right. And if for lunch, I have a salad or something, or maybe like a sandwich. And for dinner, I have maybe some rice. Like I think everyone who's talked to a personal trainer has lied <laughs> on what they eat in a day. It's just not true. And I love, I love, I love uh, the the back and forth, but I've only known that because I've trained, you know, we've trained for so long. Um, they feel the pressure. They're like, I know I'm not supposed to eat yeah. that. I can't tell them. Or, or they're, like I said, like they're unconscious about it. So I think yeah. that people in that fasting thing, it helps them become more conscious of what they're eating. And so it's not just like, don't eat, eat, eat a lot of food when you can, but like, you know, it, it helps build the habits of conscious. Now, you know, you're used to knowing what you're eating now, spread it out. If you want that in the morning, cool, but you're not going to like go off the board and be like, Oh, I'm gonna get this with this, with this, you know? I mean, I totally like that idea because it's, it's so you very like true for women. No, I like the idea. Oh, that gotcha. I like the idea that it could really help you focus on what you're eating because I do think a lot of people unconsciously eat there's, they sit down and watch TV they are drive drive. Oh, totally One of my driving. new things is if I, if I drive and I see you eat, Oh my God, my honk. 
just so it falls out or something. It's you know, too just, easy. I can't, I can't stand it. And I'll honestly, I'll catch myself doing it in time to time. I'm not perfect. And I'll be like, put that down. And I'll have to put it down. Yeah. The whole, that's a new don't thing keep snacks, driving and don't eating keep is a no, no. Driving and don't eating is a no, no. Car. So <laughs> drive, yeah. Driving, whatever else, right? Like there are just a lot of people are eating and they're unaware of how much they're eating. And I can give you a really good example. My friend, when um, we worked together at the Bay Club, we were, I forget what it happened one day, but we were just having a chat. And I used to notice she was pounding almonds, cashews, any type of nut, right? And she was having a ton. And she's, and I was like, you must, I was like, you really love cashews or almonds or whatever, you know? <laughs> and she's like, well, you know, it's like a healthy snack. So I, this is like what I do to, to, you know, and at, at, at one point it could just be very like easy, just popping an almond, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like she was having a significant amount every day, but because it was a healthy snack, right. but it's a fat. And although a lot of people think it's a source of protein, it's a source of protein, but it's also a source of fat and the fat outweighs the protein. Yes. So she was having so many that it was actually causing her to put like her body to put mm. fat on. Mm. So she goes to like a nutrition person and, you know, get, does all these things and tests and whatever. And, um, the lady found out how much nuts she was having in a day. And she's like, you got to cut way back on that <laughs> like way back. Those and are sneaky. Nuts are sneaky, like trail mix and mixed nuts. Yeah. yeah. What is it? One second. Sorry. I want this, this. So, um, she was pounding these or what did I say? Oh, so the lady was like, you gotta, you gotta, down. you gotta dial it back. Yeah. And she gave her a portion size to have in a day. So she was, so she would only bring in a little container, the amount she was going to have within the whole day. And she would snack on that. And it was crazy The and I will say she also cut out like, um, sugary beverages and stuff like that. But within a few weeks cutting out a sugary drink and a fat source, like that high of a fat source, her, her weight was down. So like that for, for you to like have, for you to like have a goal, have a in mind, know how much you're supposed to be eating is huge. And yeah. you were talking about tracking, you know what I mean? Like yeah. You don't have to track all the time, but if you could just track for like a week and see what you're putting yeah. in your body, it would change everything because you're going to be like, oh, shoot, I only had 20 grams of protein, 60 grams of protein that day. I'm supposed to have a hundred, I'm supposed to have 120, whatever it is. Yeah. Like it's it, the shift you could make just with that input would be huge. So like just... Uh, not eating, not eating when you're like distracted and knowing how much you're supposed to like be putting in your body and what you shouldn't be putting in your body. Just all those things make a huge difference. But uh, so I like the idea of like fasting and, and having a short window to like focus on what you're eating, yeah. but just people don't know how to do that. Yeah. What would you say is an easy way to like, cause I know it's hard. Most times people are like, Oh, it's hard to track everything. Or I can't have no time to do that. Or I, I forget. Like, have you known some ways it's easy to know how much someone's eating, like nutrition don't, labels or stuff like that? Yeah. Don't you feel like it's like my fitness pal or like things like that for a week? And like I said, you don't need to do it long term, but just to get some feedback, yeah. right? My fitness pal is pretty good. Yeah. Or even just like a day, just I've, I've told people to do this. I'm like, just tomorrow for the whole day, I want to see what you're eating. And then yeah. it will give you a ton of input on what you're 100%. doing. You know, and I also um, tell people go to, you know, go to my fitness pal and yeah. um, download it and then input your favorite meals. So like if you make meat sauce once a week, if you make enchiladas once a week, if you make, if there's like a specific rotation you have of every um, other day for lunch, you have like a tuna melt or whatever it is, right? Like, let's just say there's specific meals that you love. What if that meal is a little bit unbalanced? What if on your tuna melt, instead of using, you know, uh, two breads, the tuna, the cheese and the avocado, you cut back one of those fats, maybe no avocado, and then maybe keep the cheese in the bread. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's just a lot of things you could balance out and a lot of things you can adjust with that feedback. Yeah. No, I like that the in putting your meals into my fitness pal, I never thought about that. Because that's, they do have a thing on there. And it's like, you just literally, if you make it, it's a button. Um, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. But I am not going to say I still agree with fasting. <laughs> I think you did at a certain point. I, was, I think I got it. I think I got I it. I think for <laughs> you, 
I no, I think for you it's good. I don't think for me it would if be. If I edit it and I find you saying, yeah, I think they should go back. But uh, yeah, we started this episode trying to say, you know, how to, you know, be, we were going to say how to lose weight in the new year, but so basic, maybe like how to feel healthier in the new year, how to feel better, how to live healthier. The three things I said was fast, which started this whole conversation, <laughs> this lovely conversation. I think fasting, she, she just brought up, write it down, like what you're eating, just track it for a day, just write it down. You'll, it'll change everything. And then the third one was uh, you had a good one. It was a good one. I would do. I would pull up my notes on my phone, but my phone's recording right now. Try something new. So that was a, the one thing. Is like I think that if you're always doing the same thing, getting the same result, you we've all heard this quote. You know, in, in, insanity. So trying something new, whether it's a new workout, like you know, or at forty five, bay club, you know, outside surfing, paddle boarding. We're in Mill Valley. Yeah. There's a lot of it's flooding today. There's a lot of water out. Do you see that flood? Yeah, it's bad. so much water today. Our area floods so bad. Dude, it was horrible. So I just paddleboard that, you know, just get a little exercise in, you know, buy the bike. Everyone bikes out here. Even, you know, I, I don't do it that much, but like skiing, snowboarding, like that's a full workout there. So just getting more active, uh, trying something new, I think would help a lot of people in the new year. There's this app and this woman that run that runs this like whole company on getting every year a thousand hours outside. So um, the app helps you track it. Um, but it's such a good goal because just getting outside is yeah. it'll I mean, for one thing, it'll help you not sit down and eat at the house. Yeah. Right. And True. snack. It'll get your body moving, your metabolism going. And, you know, that's honestly, that's another thing. Like, I don't know that with fasting if that would totally, uh, maybe not for men, but for women, if that would, depending on how long, right? Like, I don't know if that would just screw up your metabolism, like for well, fasting it's for an extended period of time, I guess, because for me, I really don't think it would mess it up. I don't even think metabolism is a thing anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm going on. That's yeah. I haven't posted a lot of content. I'm really, I'm really going to come back with a vengeance and just talk. About how them. are we even on a podcast together? <laughs> Dude, it's just, this is good. This is two perspectives. I think it's going to be, I mean, we see, we see eye to eye on a lot of things. The fast yeah, thing is going to be another thing. I'm, I'm, now I'm going to have to go into science. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. So let's talk about this. My, for me, I eat breakfast yeah. 30 minutes, 30 minutes upon waking. I'm like on it and I'm hungry. Oof. Like I get up and I got to eat. So within a 30 minute window, I'm trying to get food into my body. And then after that, I will always have like a snack, a lunch, a snack, dinner. So breakfast, snack, lunch, breakfast. So I have like, you know, three meals, two snacks, maybe even another snack in there throughout the day. Right. But my husband and his brother, they don't eat breakfast. They, yeah. Okay. So I just want to know, okay, so you don't eat breakfast. I want to know, do you wake up hungry? Nope, not anymore. Used to. And I think you're hungry because your body's actually, you're not hungry. Your body's digesting food and it's doing something. You think it's hungry and you put more food in it. It stops digesting because now your new food's in there and then it doesn't hurt anymore. So it never really has time to digest all the food. That's just, a th that's, I'm, I'm, I can't really talk a lot about it because I'm not, I don't know all, all of this. I'm still learning. I'm reading it. But dude, <laughs> tell you. So you are telling so this is what i think is you're yeah. waking up not hungry because your metabolism has slowed it's mm -hmm. jacked because you're not feeding yourself no it doesn't no. resonate no lately it's been a little different because i'm trying to gain weight i don't know if you saw i got to 200 the other day oh yeah it took me a little bit but uh, all the um so have been eating breakfast here and there but like when i cut no breakfast like when i i'm gonna do a mo like because i'm a gain weight i'm still gain weight but like once i go back down i'm not gonna have breakfast because then you're in a calorie deficit. Yeah. Which makes sense. But you know, you can't be in a calorie deficit all the time. I'm not right now. Yeah, so you're eating breakfast. I'm surplusing with a breakfast, yeah. So and I, don't think, you I think also, so this is another, maybe another podcast, seasons of stuff. Maybe we need like... Yes. Yeah. I love that conversation. Yeah, seasons okay. of stuff. Because like, yeah, maybe you do have breakfast 30 minutes upon waking because you're on it. But maybe sometimes you don't. Maybe like... During the summer times, you wake up and have only uh, like you don't have bread or like starchy foods until noon or after. You only have like strawberries or like fruits in the morning, you know. 
Okay, so I did a, what's it called? Experiment. But I fed Mike, my husband, I fed him breakfast. I made him eat breakfast, and, you know, and he got hungrier. Yeah, so of course. So he's going to eat more. He's going to start gaining weight. He's going to gain weight. If anything, Mike, it helps put on muscle. You got to have enough protein. Yeah, but you could eat that in another a part small of the day. window. I agree. I agree. If you or are after on you it, exercise, I think that's, I think you should wake up, do something, and then start eating. Like even in whatever time that is, wake up, start moving. I don't think you should wake up and eat. No, 30 minutes, 30 minute window for this is what I think. Three that, hours and 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. That window, that 30 minute window is just so your body doesn't go into like a, again, like a stress response. And it's, this is the other thing. It's just so different for men and women. I think that it's we're just so different. stressed already as a society. Fuck, like the response doesn't even matter anymore. We're, already, oh, we're so see. overloaded on. Yeah, that's true. But no, a that's co- a, it, a whole other podcast. It's a huge factor. That. Stress is a huge factor. And it is, you know, it, what, it really is. Have you noticed when people get into, uh, not into relationships, but when they get uh, like happier, when they get like, you know, uh, go on vacation or like when they do something that like kind of makes them happier, like weight just falls off of them. Yeah. My, I actually know exactly what you mean. Cause my friend, she was in this like very hard season of life working a ton in school. And then was in this mm-hmm. relationship that wasn't really like working that well. And those three things, she was like holding on to weight and she was literally working out all the time, working out, working yeah, out, yeah. working out consistently. And, um, she went through a breakup, which was actually like a good thing. Um, she finally finished that semester of school, but was still working. And, but mm-hmm. those two things dropped off weight fell off of her. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. She was in a better place. So like, that's a huge factor, but I'm just telling you when I fed Mike breakfast, his metabolism kicked on and then he was hungrier sooner. And let me just tell you something else. I just read a study. Oh, that's a good thing though. It's a good thing because your metabolism is burning and moving and going and it's helping your body do what it's supposed to do and not hold on to like fat and stuff. You read a study. They fed kids, I think. Teenagers, maybe. They fed kids oatmeal in the morning. Carb heavy, right? And then they fed these kids eggs in the morning. More protein and more fat. Carbs, fat, protein, like, you know. But it's it's way more on the protein side than oatmeal. So the kids that ate oatmeal within, I think it was within a couple hours, maybe sooner, they went back for another serving because they were hungry. And the people that are the kids that had the protein, more like protein rich breakfast with eggs, um, it took a little while longer for them that makes to, sense. to eat but because of the protein content. So mm-hmm. like that study was showing, obviously it's important to have protein, but you can go a little bit longer in between and not be so hungry. And then you're not, if you just have like carbs and stuff, whatever, you're like snacking maybe more eating yeah. more because of yeah. it. So the content of what you're eating is important, but also I think your metabolism, I'm just saying, I think your metabolism and we might have to research this a little bit more, but it plays a bigger role. We're going to do some more research for the people. We, we, owe, them. For the people. we owe them the best. We owe them the best quality, but <laughs> this is also coming from, I mean, it's not like we're just, we, we've been training for 10 years. This is a good conversation. I think a lot of trainers have this question or, you know, conversation between each other too. Like, you know, I, enjoy, again, when we have different, we have running out of time. Is he, I think he's asleep. Oh, see, the first, first time someone fell asleep on the show. It's We're happened. so boring. <laughs> We're so boring. We're putting babies to sleep. <laughs> I'll be way louder next time. I was trying to be quiet because I didn't want to wake him up. It's trying to be. But yeah, so the three things, try to fast. Maybe. I don't know, but. Possible. Possible. <laughs> Write it down so you know what you're eating. You can be more aware of what you're doing. And try something new. And also, when I was thinking about this, this could also do a whole bunch of things. You could fast of the phone. Like if you think that you're not overweight or you're not trying to lose weight, but you're just trying to like get off the phone or like your head hurts because you're always uh, on social media or like you're, you know, um, high anxiety. Maybe you fast from the phone. Maybe you write down, you know, a journal. Maybe you write down, write it down how you're feeling, why you're feeling anxious. And then try something new. If you've never gone outside, gone on a walk, like you said, maybe get that app and go outside. But I think those three things can work in other areas, which I think was kind of cool. Yeah, those are good. There's probably like get a few moving. Ones. One thing my dad told me was when you're working, you're not spending money. And something <laughs> I wrote down during this, I don't know why, but I have to say it. When you're moving, you're not eating. So get moving. Oh my God. Keep moving. I think those know? are good. We could even add more to those, but I think that's like a solid start. 
solid start. And we're this will probably be like a part two conversation because we'll come back with more evidence and we're gonna cite our sources this time. Yeah. To say I read a study. I don't know if it was teenagers or adults. No, I just don't know if it was teenagers or kids, but joking. it was within yeah, that just, range. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's a, it's all good stuff. Comment down below who's watching. Ashley, you want to put out your socials? Sure. Follow yeah. us, Coach Malik, Coach Ashley, a or mine is actually Coach Ashley S. S but Ashley S. Yeah. And let I don't know. Let us know what you think. Other professionals, right? We got to get other professionals on here yes. giving us some feedback. Allie's our next guest. We'll have on. Maybe she'll be the first of the 2024. Oh, we should. Good one. <laughs> good one. We should. We'll have to ask her what topic she wants to talk on. That would be really great. We will. Well, thank you guys okay. for watching. Remember to share it if you liked it. Subscribe. And we'll see you guys next episode.